round here, we take our playthrough seriously. These glasses are like too small, so that's kind of hard to take off. <laughs> Hello, Naze Ranger Adam. Welcome to the channel, and welcome to Granite Falls Sims 4. I figure since COVID-19 ruined summer for everyone, I'll have my own virtual summer camp. And what better way to do that than in Sims 4, right? <laughs> it's really hot in here. These glasses are fogging up already. <laughs> Alright, normally when I think of summer, I think of like going out to like the mountains, get like in the cabin, camping, you know, stuff like that. Because I think it's because like when I was younger, I used to go camp. Me and my family would go out to like the mountains, hit the national parks. So every summer, I kind of just like want to do that, you know? Uh, fortunately, I don't think we can do that this year, but uh, we could always do it in The Sims, right? <laughs> Alright, so this is basically just going to be a mini-series for the summer. I expect maybe to get the most five episodes out of this. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. So this is a different world from the usual playthrough with Adam. Um, all The Sims are here. Uh, I try to save them from that playthrough and then like reload them here or download them here. But it wouldn't... It let me, but it wouldn't let me save the relationship, so I had to, like... Let's just say I know some cheats, alright? <laughs> anyway, so they're all, the gang's all here. We got Sergio and his family. We got Bob and Eliza Pancakes. By the way, have you seen... Okay, when I download it, right, it has, like, a little description. Have you seen their description? It says something like, Oh, we don't know how these two are still together, or rather, we don't know the... Sp what did I say? We we don't know, no one knows the spark that brought these two together, or rather the spark that continues to keep them together. Something like that, I was like, what? They're having marriage problems? I had no idea. Maybe that's why they have separate bedrooms. Anyway, enough of that. Alright, we got Bob and Eliza Pancake here, and then we got Johnny and his family, which I did not know he had a son, but there you go, here he is. And uh, I have no idea how Albert Calloway made it, but he made the cut. I guess we gotta have some animosity in this camp, right? Alright, let's go check out Adam's plot, shall we? Alright, here we are at Adam's cabin. It's- I had to build this actually from scratch. <laughs> from the ground up. This was actually supposed to be a campsite. But I was like, I don't want him living in a tent the whole time. So I made him a cabin instead. Um, it's actually pretty nice. I think it's actually nicer than his house back at home, honestly. Though to tell you the truth, back at home in this world, he don't got a home. <laughs> <laughs> him, he's got a bigger TV than he does at home. Anyway, it's nothing really super special. It's just a bed, living space, kitchen, dining area. He's got a bathroom here. I was contemplating if I should make it like a whole cabin or if I should just make it kind of like, you know, just the sleeping, living area kind of thing. Sleeping common area, bathroom, and then maybe like make him cook outside. But then I was like, nah, you know what? I'll give him a kitchen and a bathroom as well. A nice bathroom as well. But we won't give him a shower. We'll make him use the outside camping one. <laughs> I don't know why. I guess I just hate him like that. I look weird these glasses. <laughs> uh, everything in this cabin is uh, from the camping pack. I can't remember what it's called. What's gr get outside, great outdoors. I don't remember what it's called. Pack. But they're all from that. Except for these rugs, I think, and I think this table might not be... Oh, and the kitchen stuff, because it didn't have kitchen stuff. Maybe the count... Okay, you know what? A lot of things are... <laughs> okay, let's just say the kitchen and the rugs and the table aren't, I don't think, and the toilet. Oh my... Never mind. I think the only things aren't, like, the kitchen stuff and, like, the rugs and the table, but everything else is pretty much from the camping pack. Oh, and the toilet. I can... Do they have an outhouse? Because I would have given him an outhouse, actually. <laughs> I mean like that. All right, so we got, oh yeah, also, if you notice, Adam here is back to being a young adult. I was like, you know what? I have a saved Adam. I was just download it from there, my library. So I think it works out. And uh, Vivi is back to being an adult as well because I cheated and made her young so that Adam and Vivi could be the same age as when they first made him. <laughs> Shut up. All right, so this is what, pretty much what we got. Um, I'm kind of hoping, oh yeah. Alright, so one of the reasons it's another world is because I didn't want to ruin the Let's Play because for them to be able to be here, um, I would, well like Adam, I would have to do the Mother Low cheat and I didn't want to ruin the Let's Play with that. So I just said, you know, let's just do a whole world, whatever, it, but you know what? Oh, and then I had to like cheat the relationships because the relationships weren't enough. So I kind of, I think, 
I think I kind of got them somewhat close to what they were in the other world. I don't know, I just made Sergio his best friend, and the others are kind of like, Bob is like 50%, Eliza's 50, Johnny he didn't really know him, so he's like 40, you know, stuff like that. Alright, this is Sergio and his family's cabin. I think he has like four bedrooms, which is more than he needs, but uh, it's fine. He has a big family. Maybe they go have a bedroom, I don't know. This is the pancake bedroom. <laughs> the pancake bedroom. This is Bob and Eliza's cabin. This cabin was originally like three bedrooms, so I thought, okay, maybe Johnny and his family could stay there. But then I was like, well, I like Bob and Eliza, and I want them to have the bigger cabin. So that's why they got it. They have more beds than they need, but you know what? It's fine. <laughs> this is Albert's cabin. It's just a single bedroom cabin. Actually, I don't think it's a bedroom. It's like a studio or whatever. I didn't do anything to this cabin, this cabin, or this cabin. I did have to modify this cabin to accommodate Johnny and his family. Uh, let me show you. <laughs> let me show you what I did. <laughs> I like want to wear these glasses because I feel like it like works with the hat and everything. It's just, <laughs> it's like so hot in here. They keep fucking up. <laughs> All right, here's Johnny's cabin. I didn't really do anything to the bottom floor. I don't think. Wait, did I do anything to the bottom floor? I don't even know now. Oh, it's backwards. I was like, why, why do I look different? Did I do anything? I don't remember if I did anything. Anyway, this is Johnny's cabin. I don't think I did anything to this floor, but I can't remember. I think I might move the trash can. Uh, pretty simple, you know, basic. I figured, okay, I figured Johnny and his wife could use this room. The sexy red bedroom. And then up here, up this ladder, his son could have like this room. He's like a teenager, so he could have like his own space. Originally, okay, originally it was, it was supposed to be like a loft, right? It was supposed to be like just like up to here, just over uh, the bedroom and like the bathroom and then like, you know, just open over here. But then it became like this. <laughs> it became like its own cabin in its own right, honestly. And that's okay, you know what, that, that's, that's perfectly fine, whatever. Uh, this is what the outside <laughs> looks like. Okay. Before you say anything, I have seen cabins like this where they do have like a loft space. So it kind of works, all right? The roof does look funny, but it works. And technically it's not really a loft space. It's kind of like an attic space, but details, details, details. It's perfectly fine. All right, here we are on Loser's Lot. I forgot I called it that. Uh, all right, Adam, looks like you're all settled into the place. It looks nice. Probably wish you could move in because it looks better than your other house. And honestly, I don't blame you. I would want to move in here as well. But uh, we're going to go visit somebody. Let's go see uh, how Sergio is in his cabin. Can, wait, can I like just go over there? Because like before I could. Oh, here we go. Oh, okay. So like this is the central area. I'm having such a hard time seeing with these dang glasses on. <laughs> oh, okay, so this is the central area. Oh, okay, we got a little... Why are you flirty? Alright, calm down, Adam. Seeing that forest love. Oh, okay, so there's like little communal thingies. Uh, fire pits, I can't think. There's barbecue spaces. This is where we come to worship the deer ranger. Deer ranger, hats off to you. Yes, it is mandatory for rangers of Granite Falls to salute the deer ranger at least once a day. And that's just at least once a day. If you don't, you get sacrificed to the deer ranger. That's what happens. That's just, that's just the law of the land. All right, Adam, let's, uh, is this Sergio's cat? That is not Sergio's cat. Why can I see inside? Wait a minute, I could access all the other cabins from here? I was jumping to the stupid manage world ma- <laughs> The stupid manage the world map thing, and turns out I could just done this. Well, I done goofed in. I made a done fool of yourself, Adam. You did. All right, let's uh, let's all gather here, shall we? What's this? Is this a bathroom? Ooh, we could buy stuff from here. Ooh, we could get an axe. We could explore the woods. Where you camping? Ooh, take me lodging. Oh, take me to logging. Oh, wait, we redid that. I was thinking logging. I was like, ooh, you can go logging. Throw some axes and stuff. Ooh, 
Hello, fellow ranger. How you doing? Flirty introduction. Okay, uh, Adam, calm down, all right? Who's that? Oh, that's Albert. Uh, okay, one thing I want to know is, why do they all... Okay, they all have bathrooms in their cabins, right? But I've seen them go here. Why? You have your own bathrooms. Why do you want to use the public bath? Whoa, whoa. There's a lot of woods in here. All right, Adam. Um, the day is nearly well spent. Let's gather everyone up for a welcome barbecue, shall we? I think I can do that. Brew herbal went remedy. Never mind, let's not do that. <laughs> okay, Adam. The day is nearly well spent. Let's have a... Uh, let's start the day... Let's start a... Uh, <laughs> I can't talk. Let's start a camping adventure with nobody. Never mind, we can't do that. I was gonna... Dang it, I was hoping to like invite everybody and be like, Hey everyone, let's all hang out. I think I gotta do this. Hang on. There we go. Weenie roast. Adam, Eliza, Bob, you, you, you. Wait, that's all I can invite? Aw, oh, man. Okay, okay, okay. I was hoping to invite uh, Albert and all of them, but I guess Johnny's not going to be able to come. Who should be the grill master? Okay, no one's going to be the grill master. That's fine. All right, take me home because I don't know where I'm at. <laughs> okay. All right, Adam, we are hosting a weenie roast. Let's get things started. How do we do this? Okay, let's light it. Oh, wait. We can invite people to hang out, too. Never mind. Okay, let's just have Vivi. <laughs> you're, you're invited. You're invited. But I guess I have to invite you anyway. Let's light this baby. Oh, wait. Wait, what are you doing? What? Oh, we're having hamburgers, too, apparently. <laughs> oh, shoot. Oh. oh, that's probably from the last one. Oh, my God. He almost set himself on fire. Oh my god, this is probably a mistake. Hey, Sergio, how you doing? Okay, this is the funny thing. We don't know anything really about Sergio. <laughs> like, uh, we're friends. We're like best friends, but we don't know anything about these people. <laughs> because, uh, I cheated it. <laughs> Alright. Weenie roast is underway. Everyone's coming in. And, uh, let's just have a good time. And not set anything on fire. Remember, kids, only you can prevent forest fires. I could not say that clearly. Only you can prevent forest fires. All right, everyone, grab your weenie and let's roast. <laughs> oh, look at Bob and serial killer son whose name I can't remember. Brayden. Brayden? What? Voting is now closed. Hey, creative arts received the most votes. Yes. <laughs> That's that. <laughs> This is the same world as the eco one from the last episode, so that's why that happened. <laughs> We're probably not going back to there, but you know what? It's That's fine. <laughs> the arts win. <laughs> Alright, everyone, let's just hang out. Bob, please don't throw more wood on the fire. This is probably gonna start something on fire. I don't know. Let's keep the bonfire on fire, not our people, okay? Why is there only one person? Okay, 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 okay. Let's everyone, let's slow down. Let's, uh, thank for coming. I don't know. Can we talk ghosters? Okay, we need to get, what do we need to do? We need to roast hot dogs on the campfire. Adam was doing that. Sergio, why are you roasting a, Sergio, this is a weenie roast, not a marshmallow roast. Take your freaking marshmallows out of here. Okay, let's roast another one. I don't know what happened. Is he still cooking it? Okay, he's roasting hot dogs still. I don't know. <gasps> yes, we got a one. Okay, okay, okay. I do not want to fail this like I fail every other party, okay? Let's get camping right at least, Adam. Please. Uh... Oh! Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay. The fire is not the only thing that's been heated over here. What's going on here? Oh my god. Oh my- Sergio, don't even care. <laughs> I was like, oh, I'm avoiding this. It's his daughter, but he's just like, don't care. Oh my, Bob, stop it. Oh my God, stop. What is wrong with you two? <laughs> Bob was crying. Well, you started it, Bob. Bob, what is wrong with you? What happened to my mild manner, Bob? Let's brighten her day. Let's, let's just try and cool things down, guys. All right, let's, we're all friends here. You may not know it because I cheated it, but uh, we're all friends here. <laughs> oh my gosh, he wants to roast a llama. All right, well, you do you, boy. 
Let's roast another hot dog so I don't fail this thing. <laughs> Alright. Um, Bob, if you don't calm down, I'm gonna call the ranger on you. Not me, because I don't want to deal with it. A real ranger. <laughs> Let's thank him for coming, even though he's insinuating fights. Uh, where's... Oh, now they're friends. You see that? Maybe they're just like, uh, play wrestling or something. I don't know. Oh, look at Vivi asleep on the log. Aww. Now she's on fire. Alright, uh, where is your wife? I feel like she needs to keep you- Oh my god! Now he's getting in a fight with Sergio's wife. What is wrong with you, Ba? Jeez, going out in the wilderness really brings out the worst in you, doesn't it? My goodness. Okay, let's- Oh my god, let's, let's find out what's wrong with Bob here. Let's warn him about bed safety. I don't- maybe I'll, like, scare him. I don't- <laughs> scare him to be nice. He's like, oh, there's ghosts on the bed? It's like, yes, Bob. And they will come and eat you in your sleep if you don't stop fighting with people. Let's do that. Alright, we're- I think we're having a good time. I think everyone's chill. Eliza's roasting her weenie. That's perfectly fine. Uh, damn it, bra- bra- where- your, what's your name? Brayden, damn it Brayden, get your dang marshmallow out of here. This is a weenie roast. This is a campfire hangout for weenies. <laughs> Oh my god, what is going on here? Now Bob isn't- He's getting in a fight with all Sergio's family. What is wrong with you? Adam, I don't know who you- Adam, I don't know who these people are or why you invited them, but... Yeesh. Bob, calm your crap. Oh my goodness. Adam, go over there. Actually, you know what? I think Sergio- I think Sergio actually started that fight. But to be fair, Bob did get in a fight with his daughter and his wife. So, maybe Bob asked for it. And now they're friends. Maybe this is the way Sergio- Oh, they're all happy for him. They're like, yeah, good on you, Sergio. Bury the hatchet. <laughs> These are the beautiful campfire moments you just gotta cherish. Um, this weenie roast certainly was, um... Certainly was something. By the way, is it nighttime in the game? I cannot tell. Yes, it is nighttime in the game. <laughs> oh no. Alright. I think everyone's cooled down now. I think, uh... I think Sergio's family is a little rowdy. <laughs> and maybe they make friends by beating up on each other. I don't know. Whatever. But, uh, maybe it's just the wildness getting to them. Because now, now they're having a good time. Odd. Anyway, Adam's having a good time. He's feeling good. I don't know what he's doing right now. Maybe he's peeing in the... Oh, okay. Just looking up. Alright. Um, I need two more people to, uh... Wait. Hang on the campfire for three hours. Ah! We're almost... We're almost out of time. I need... We need one more, uh... Let's see. Gossip story... Play. Let's play. Play in the fire? Oh, he's playing with that. Oh, he's playing that. I was like, play in the fire? <laughs> Don't play with fire. Let's tell, uh, ooh, yeah, let's tell a ghost story. Yes, let's scare everybody. Make them pee their pants. Yeah, scare Master Adam. Okay, shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Stop every. Stop doing that. Stop eating. Come on, we gotta tell him a ghost story. Come on, hurry, hurry. Hurry before you run out of time. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Where are you? Oh, you're so annoying. All right. Oh, okay, uh, Kaylee doesn't want to sit next to me. That's very rude, Kaylee. Alright. Alright, everyone, stop walking around. I'm telling a story here. Damn it. Ooh, what happened? Wait. What? Weenie roast, unsuccessful. Dang it! We didn't roast enough weenies. We failed you, dear ranger. Please, have mercy on us all. Yeah, we'll get him next time. Then we'll really roast your weenies. Alright, well, I think I'm gonna call the video here. Um, I think it was pretty successful. <laughs> yeah. Someone kept getting in fights. And, uh, we had an unsuccessful weenie roast. But you know what? You can't win them all. And in the end, camp is about building relationships. Strong relationships. As man battles nature and beast. And squirrel. Damn you.
I had a nickel for every time a squirrel took a Conrad and camping. I would be a rich man. All right, anyway, <laughs> if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like, leave me a comment, tell me how to improve this. I'm thinking maybe I'll like add on to the costume, maybe get a shirt too. <laughs> but anyway, <laughs> thank you for watching and hopefully I'll see you next time. See you guys later. Goodbye. Ranger Adam, signing out. All right, uh, yeah, Adam, just, just leave the campfire on. Always put out your campfires, people. This is very dangerous, all right? How do I extinguish this? Hurry up. You have to be a good example. You didn't do it. Ugh, whatever. I'm sure there's not going to be any consequence. There might not be any consequences. <laughs>